You're back. We've brought all the children back safely and came back here after discussing what to do with the hideout. You aren't hurt, I hope. Thanks to you, we were able to save the children. And that fool, Robert. I thought my heart would drop right out of my... <clears throat> Never mind. Zaroth was the Archeum's commander, overseeing operations in Laslin. Thanks to you, the region will be safe for a while. They are really frightened, but everyone is fine. Nothing but a few minor injuries. It's all thanks to you and Robert taking action so quickly. These plans for a kidnapping operation have the name Calanthia on them. Calanthia used to be a very infamous witch of Archeum. There were rumors that she died, so it's strange to hear her name again. Anyway, according to this, they're seeking children with star fragments to extract the power. You too? No wonder Captain Da Vinci seemed to be talking to you about it especially. I've also heard of that power. I had no idea the Archeum was so obsessed with it. Captain Da Vinci personally accepted you into the Resistance, so please, feel free to ask for help if you ever feel that you may be in danger too. The Resistance was created to fight the Archeum Legion. The truth is, the Captain saved our lives when we were young. Rutain, Robert, and I. We owe our lives to him, and we respect and admire him more than anyone else. When he saved us, I swore that when I grew up, the three of us would form a guild and become people who could be of service to him. Captain Da Vinci also encouraged us by gifting us a flag he kept with him from when he was a trainee so long ago. His support made us the force we are today. <laughs> well, thank you. But after experiencing what happened this time, I feel like the three of us alone aren't enough. I felt it even more deeply with you helping us. I think it's time for our guild to let go of the name The Terrific Trio. We are so much stronger when we stand together than when we stand alone. Our guild is greater than the sum of its members, just like Captain Da Vinci's Resistance. Sophia congratulated you on becoming a member of the Resistance. She reflected on what an honor it was to be personally chosen by Captain Da Vinci, telling you the tales of her memories of being rescued by him as a child. She also revealed her ambition to create a larger guild in order to have the skills to stand side by side with her hero. Though the troop trio possessed excellent skills and a strong sense of justice, they also endured an unhappy childhood. After Captain Da Vinci rescued them, they dreamed of following in his footsteps. Soon after, the terrific trio became known as the new heroes of the Resistance. You're here! Thank you for coming. Thanks to you, everything worked out. I'm in your debt. Oh, you see... Do you remember the mana recording device we set up to monitor Morikai? When I came back from looking for the children, I felt a suspicious energy from it. I explored the area, and there are strange entities called Soul Arbiters appearing in the forest lately. If you defeat one, a small flame spirit will emerge and lead you to another area. I think they lead towards Celius' abyss. Anyway, we don't know what else will happen in the forest if we just leave them be. The problem is, it's hard for me to explore the area alone. Thank you so much! Sophia and Robert couldn't help me because they're... busy. Again, when you eliminate one of the soul arbiters that appear in the forest, a small flame spirit will appear. Please follow it and find out the cause of the suspicious energy. According to local guards, you can hear a terrible scream when several soul arbiters gather in one place. Maybe that has something to do with this energy.
Oh, and when you enter Celius's abyss, please be sure to do so in a group. It's a dangerous place to be alone. Goodness, what the heck is going on here? Oh, hello. What are you doing here? Well, I was thinking of making some accessories while I'm here, but I left the materials at home. Drat. I was looking forward to making an entry in my lithograph book. Huh? You don't know what the lithograph book is? You can put equipment you don't use into the book and receive various upgrade materials. I heard that merchants from a faraway continent created this book to collect equipment in Silesium. Just a rumor, though. <laughs> I feel like someone is watching me. Could it be one of my fans? Oh, this is so tiresome. Goodness, what the heck is going on here? Oh, you caught me. You must be pretty good if you managed to notice me watching. I'm Baze, from the Endless Collectors Association. Our organization is collecting every kind of equipment there is. In the beginning, we only collected tools crafted by the most decorated craftmasters. But we soon realized that no matter how insignificant the equipment, each has a piece of its crafter's soul in it. That's why we decided to collect everything in the world. We invented the lithograph book to help make that a little easier. With a tool like this one, anyone can lend a hand in collecting equipment. What do you say? Do you want to try it out? Sure, we'll accept anything. We don't care if it's new or old. It's even fine if you don't have the equipment on hand just yet. You're welcome anytime. Happy to have help from a capable adventurer like you. Thank you, in advance. In the Inter Village, you met Robert who taught you about the lithograph book and its advantages. When you felt watchful eyes upon you, you were quick to chase the spy. A lichen named Baze, a member of the Endless Collectors Association, had been observing you from afar. He explained the lithograph book's purpose and requested your cooperation in completing it. When you have any unused equipment, check your lithograph book. When you have any unused equipment, check your lithograph book. Let's see, let's see, where can I find some strong adventurers? Huh? Wait, wait! You, the dashing adventurer over there! How would you like to explore the unknown? I can draw a dimensional circle for you if you'd like. Dimensional circles are an ancient kind of magic. It's taken a long time and a lot of effort, but I finally managed to replicate it. There's so much I want to know about the world beyond the dimensional circle. But those monsters make it nearly impossible to do any research. You wouldn't believe how many close calls I've had. You seem strong enough. I bet you'd fare far better there than I have. And who knows what wonderful things you might discover while you're there. Will you give it a try at least? I want to go find it myself, but I had an injury while escaping from the dimension last time, and haven't recovered yet. Alas, what can I do? Without it, research on the dimensional circle will come to nothing. Uh, really? Thank you. You can probably find my research journal somewhere in the Spectre's Abyss. There are many interesting things beyond the dimensional circle. 
maybe you'll find something special. Instead, I recommend that, when entering the Dimensional Circle, you go with other colleagues. You are strong enough, but it's quite dangerous there. Well, please take care of yourself. Don't even think about using the wolf trap on the plains for cooking meat. The scent brings wolves running from all directions. There are many hunters who have been killed by wolves these days. Go and help when you see a hunter in danger. A long time ago, Chris entrusted me with this gem from Wisp Island. I got greedy and absconded with it. 
And it's been draining the life out of me ever since! Really? I want to return it and be liberated from my pain! <laughs> but I doubt Chris would forgive me! I can't do this anymore. I want to be free. The purple gem? I see. If an ordinary man covets a star fragment, he'll be consumed by its power, and eventually die. But he can't get rid of the star fragment on his own. You must retrieve it, quickly, and save him. Don't even think about using the wolf trap on the plains for cooking meat. The scent brings wolves running from all directions. Oh, I can't cook meat on the plains freely. I can't get the eaten purple by gem while trying to Neil eat. Neil wants to give it back to me? I see. If I had known then that the gem was a fragment of the Star of Silver, I would never have entrusted it to him. If an ordinary man covets a star fragment, he'll be consumed by its power and eventually die. But he can't get rid of the star fragment on his own. You must retrieve it, quickly, and save him. Hurry, and bring Neil here. Tell him not to worry. I won't reprimand him. I'll contact the Resistance and arrange to collect the Star Fragment. The wolf hunting contest began in honor of Henry, the hero who saved the village from the contest helps him. I'll contact the Resistance. wolf hunting. I'll contact the Resistance and arrange to collect the Star Fragment.
Why did you come alone? Where's Neil? What? He was murdered by an Archeum soldier? Why did you come alone? What? He was murdered by an Archeum soldier? Good God. In the end, we couldn't save Neil after all. The Star Fragments are dangerous. You too should be aware of the power of the Star Fragment. This one will soon be oh, returned to the Resistance good. headquarters. Someone must be cooking meat out on the plains. I can take things from here. Good job. On the plains? Stupid hunters! They won't listen the wolf no hunting matter contest. how many times we get the I contest tell them that the helps smell will attract wolves! Enjoy the hunt! The wolf hunt the contest helps. I stayed at the Castleton Inn a few nights ago, and had a strange feeling when asleep. So, I opened my eyes and... Dear God, I, I saw a ghost! Yes, it's true. I saw it with my own eyes. Ugh, I'm still breaking out in a cold sweat just thinking about it. Well, if you don't believe me, go see for yourself. You'd better brace yourself, because I don't want you to lose your sanity. Finally, you're here. I've been waiting for you. Uh, no? I'm sorry. I thought you were here to solve a certain problem at my inn. Have you heard of the three urban legends of Castleton? I'm not sure how our inns fit in there, but... Guests keep complaining about hearing mysterious crying sounds in a room, but I don't see what the fuss is all about. If you don't mind, could you look into it? You don't look like an ordinary adventurer. Please, you've got to help me. Really? Oh, oh, thank you. It's room 202, at the very back of the second floor. Please take a good look. Back of the second floor. Please take a good look. Oh, my back. I have so much cleaning to do. Oh, hello. How can I help you? A room 202 legend? Well, I've heard of it, but I don't know if any of that's true. I've never heard any weeping sounds either. As you can see, I clean mostly on the second floor, moving between hallways and rooms. Hmm, I don't know. It's just that it's unusually cold when you enter room 202. But then, I tend to feel very chilly all the time. We had a guest in room 202 just yesterday, and no problem. Who was that drunken fellow down there? Oh man, my head is spinning. I can't tell which way is up and which way is down. What? What about room 202? I didn't spill anything. The mark on the table has nothing to do with me. I entered the room to sleep off a few drinks, and noticed something on the table. But I swear, I didn't do it. You've got to believe me.
everyone. Don't worry. I've spoken to an Archeum soldier. They won't hurt us. Can we really trust them? I'm scared. Oh, I think someone's coming. you're traveling through these parts. I have a proposition for you. I've managed to calm everyone down by saying it's all a rumor. What would happen if I revealed there really was a ghost? Why don't you stay in the room until the rumors die down? I won't charge you anything until then. Oh, come on. Don't be such a coward. Okay, then you can stay in the next room. But you better not say anything about the ghosts. Deal? Okay, here's the key. There's no ghost. That's just a rumor started by our competitors. <laughs> There's no ghost. That's just a rumor started by our competitors. <laughs> 